Okay, so good evening. Um, let me get a little bit of light here. So, happy Valentine's Day to uh, everyone out there. Um, tonight we're going to be talking a little bit about my topic was how to get well, stay well, and live the best life possible. And one of the ways I feel that we are able to do that is going to be learning how to take better care of our health and also removing some of the things that will cause uh, some issues. So what I want to do tonight, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, how the body works. Um, then we're going to get in a little bit about how the body breaks down. And then we're going to talk a little bit about how chiropractic or how chiropractors can really help you get well, stay well, and live the best life possible. Because that's really the bottom line is we really want to be able to get to a stage in our lives that our bodies are functioning optimally. And in order to do that, we have to make sure that we have a well-tuned uh, functioning nervous system. And in order for that to happen, uh, you and I, just like I did when I was a young young guy at, at 19, uh, after having spent many, many years being unhealthy. When I say unhealthy, I, I remember constantly having issues with um, uh, allergies, asthma, all these things. And um, growing up in that kind of environment, the only thing that I knew was what you know my mom knew, and that was to constantly take medications. And, um, and, and I'm not knocking medication, but my problem with it was that every time the medication wore off, I had the same problem again. So it was only really a temporary fix. And I wanted something more. I wanted to have something that would allow my body to function in such a way that I could do the things that I like to do, um, you know, sleep well, think well, be able to be okay in the classroom on the athletic field, one of the things that I always recall as a young person growing up, young child growing up, I was always very athletic. I uh, always hung out with uh, guys who were older than I was, stronger than I was, more athletic than I was, which meant that I had to push myself to be able to perform at a level that at some point um, in growing up, I actually became better than a lot of those guys that were, that were really training me, though like they were my mentors. And so that kind of put me in a position that when I went to high school, I was able to, you know, play on a, a varsity football, basketball, and track. Um, and then later went on to play basketball in college. So, but what I do recall growing up is I remember <clears throat> um, many, many times of, of suffering with the asthmatic attacks. I also remember like, when it came to, from like say spring and then in the fall with all the pollen and things in the air that I would wind up having these really bad allergic reactions with runny nose, running eyes, puffy nose, I mean all the stuff that you're just sneezing, um, having difficult time breathing. And obviously um, I remember my mom would take me to uh, either Kessler Memorial Hospital at the time, was up, which was up in Hamilton, New Jersey, or we would take the trip down to Atlantic City and visit a medical doctor there at the time. His name was, the office was um, Milano and Denton Fast. I think it was on Illinois Avenue, if I can remember. It's been a long time. And uh, you, we would go through taking and doing all these tests to see what my, um, allergies were, you know, they would stick me with all these different things to see what I was allergic to. And then from there, it was like, a, 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 you know, just a constant taking of different uh, medications, steroids that um, at the age of 18, 19, I remember taking my last one and I just had a serious uh, impact in terms of reaction from taking the medication. I also remember, you know, uh, we would go to the Poconos during the summer for football camp, and it would be hot, and hot, and you know, the the grass would so hot that the grass would just get brown, and you would just after a while, it's just this dust when you're out there doing drills and tackling, this dust would come up, and um, and now obviously that would just generate my allergies to start kicking in, 
and um, really had really had a tough time with that. So it was when I was 19 years of age, I went to visit um, my chiropractor. I called him my chiropractor, Dr. Marty Brown, who still practices today. Um, and what I loved about that whole experience was I had always been interested in health. Um, as a young person, I did a lot of reading. Um, to this day, I have a library in my home, a study where I just love to read, love to study. And um, <clears throat> so when I went to him, he uh, basically took me in a room, and I remember having charts on the wall, much like I have here, um, with the autonomic nervous system, um, and then another chart that I have over here talking and showing the spinal nerve distribution chart, uh, just basically letting me show me how the nerves uh, what parts of the body that they go to and how the, the you know, those um, vertebra or the spine, ver vertebra or the bones of the spine, much like <clears throat> this example here of a, of a spine. And what he basically showed me how the brain is sitting up here, you have the spinal cord sitting inside the, the spinal canal, and off sh of the spinal cord you have these openings called foramen that allow the nerves to come out to go to all parts of the body. So it's sending signals to every portion of your, and, and part of your body systems, all your organs, all your cells, all your tissues. And also, um, when we look at the front, we see that between each vertebra, from, you know, uh, between C2 all the way down to L5 and the sacrum, you have a little disc in there. And I realized that those discs, they're like uh, cushions, you know, they're like uh, shock absorbers, and they also are like spacers to allow enough space between each of these vertebra to allow enough opening so that the nerve can come out safely to go to each part of the body, okay? Now, what I learned from that is that, okay, if these nerves are coming out going to all parts of the body, and if I encounter stress, <clears throat> and stress could be mental stress, emotional stress, uh, could be chemical stress from things in the environment, uh, pollutions in our waters, the types of foods that we eat that have all kinds of chemicals in them can cause a chemical reaction in the body causing stress. And the other one uh, that, that probably hits a lot of people uh, are uh, physical stressors, like you know, playing sports, like I played football, I played basketball, and believe it or not, um, there were times that I got hit playing football. I, I remember one time I got hit so hard in the head and my helmet came down and hit me in my left eye and I went blind for a few minutes. Literally, I couldn't see out of the eye. Um, probably was concussed at that time, but who knew back then, okay? So what I understand about this is that these discs are there as, as a shock absorber. Um, another interesting thing, if we look at the spine from the side, we'll notice that there's a nice forward curve in the neck a backward curve in the mid back and another forward curve in the lower back which allows this system to be uh, to support the body like it's a shock absorber so that when this spine is nice and curved like this and with those discs in between when you jump run it acts like a shock absorber absorbing all the stress from the gravitational forces and then when you look at the spine from the back you see these little <clears throat> we call them spinous process they look like bumps you can see them on people when they take their shirts off, you, see, you can actually touch them and they look like little things just sticking out there. Well, these are spinous processes and the, the, the idea here <clears throat> is that we want to make sure that these 24 movable bones within the spine are aligned with each other as best as they can possibly be. Because what we do know is this, is that when the body encounters a ongoing stress okay, prolonged stress that it encounters on a day-to-day -day basis, it can cause your muscles to contract. Those muscles that are supporting the spine, um, keeping it in proper alignment. If the system is overloaded, it can cause the muscle to contract, and when that muscle contracts, it will have the tendency to pull that vertebra away from its normal center line. And in doing that, it's gonna put pressure on the nerve and that nerve going to whatever part of the body or organ or cell or tissue is going to be impacted, okay? Now, so the average person is not going to know this, so when you go in and out of doctor's offices or even as a young child, I remember uh, being checked for scoliosis, well, 
person has scoliosis, the spine is, uh, we look at it from the back, is twisted. And obviously, if it's twisted, it's going to be some rotation. In many cases, it's going to be sublux subluxations going on, which means that that vertebra being out of alignment could cause some impingement on the nerve and therefore cause that body to start to malfunction. But what I learned and what I found as I was growing through those years of going every year to get checked for scoliosis, I was never, never, never referred to a chiropractor because in reality, uh, chiropractors were probably the only people that could identify if there was a spinal misalignment or subluxation and then know what to do to correct that. So instead what happens, you get these subluxations occurring and if they're not corrected, um, this it's similar to what would happen to your ankle. If you twist your right ankle, you're going to have a tendency to compensate without even thinking about it. Your body's going to have you lean most of your weight. If you sprain your right ankle, you're going to lean to your left side. So this compensation goes back and forth until someone does something to correct it or the body will develop a pattern and keep it like that. And as time goes on, that system becomes weaker and weaker and weaker and then all of a sudden we start having uh, a breakdown process that occurs and if that breakdown process is not corrected over time what's going to create it is going to create a symptom all right that symptom if it's not taken care of uh, will produce a dis-ease in the body meaning that there's a lack of ease you'll see people walking around limping and things like that and and, and some pe people they actually create a pattern right they create a pattern and once that pattern is set, then they start to develop maybe arthritis or all kinds of different things that may occur and it becomes a lifestyle for them. And you will see it sometimes if you walk in uh, out in the malls or whatever, you'll start noticing people who may for over time begin to um, start out upright and then over time they start leaning forward, 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 and as they Gravity is constantly pulling. Before you know it, they're on a walker. Okay, first they'll maybe walk on, a, be on a cane, then a walker, then they're in a wheelchair. Okay, because they've lost strength here, the spine's out of alignment, the core area gets weakened, and now you have a bunch of problems that are going to be going on. So, how the body works? Brain sits up here, sends signals down the spinal cord to the spinal nerves, out to all parts of the body to allow that body system to send and receive message to let the body know exactly what's going on, allowing the body to do exactly what it's designed and programmed to do. And that is really the nerve system is designed really to adapt this body, okay, to the environment in which it exists and do it real, relatively easily as long as there's no interference, okay? So what goes wrong is we encounter these stressors and these stressors, if they're there long enough, can cause the body system to break down, okay? And once those systems start to break down, um, unfortunately, in the culture that you and I live in in America and now around the world, but especially in America, when people develop symptoms, they typically will go to a doctor, and now it's a little even crazier because now it's all this telemedicine stuff. People are going to get on the phone, um, talk to the doctor and what he's going to do is going to send a script to the pharmacy for you to go to pick up. So the personal contact, you know, personal touch is no longer there um, and now you have a system where people are going to be just bombarded with just taking a lot of medications to uh, to manage symptoms. So here the word, it, you know, it's, it's really to manage symptoms to control pain. And my thing is for me, what I want for my body and for my health and for my family um, I want their systems to function better, but it, I would rather have it happen in a very natural manner, okay? Um, I'm not a big advocate of constantly taking medications. I mean, I just don't. Um, I, I feel that every medication has some kind of side effect which is going to impact the human body, okay? So it becomes extremely important that we understand this so that we wind up doing the right things to bring about healing in the body, okay? now. In order for us to do this, to allow the body to start healing, then what we as chiropractors do is when patients come in, we do a complete evaluation. Um, we, uh, in many cases, will refer the patient out to get x-rays of the spine so we can actually see. And also for the benefit of the patient, I mean, it's kind of like 
you know, for me, I look at if I were to go to a dentist, I don't think I would want a dentist working on my teeth or my mouth without first getting an x-ray to see what the heck is going on within my mouth, okay? And so that's my belief. I know there are many chiropractors out there that don't believe that it's important to take x-rays, but I just happen to believe that for me um, to see what's going on, because I don't have x-ray vision eyes, <laughs> I wish I did, but I don't, um, I want to be able to see what's going on. And that way I know that in seeing that, I know that I can help my patient more effectively. Now. The other thing that's important to understand is this, when patients do come in, when I talk to them about how the body works, so teach them how to get well, stay well, and live the best life possible, I want them to understand that it's not just all about pain. You know, we live in a culture that makes us believe that when you're in pain, things are really bad and it's not supposed to be that way. But sometimes pain can be a good thing for us, okay? So if I do have a pain, then what I do is identify what has occurred within the last 24 hours <clears throat> of my life, especially if it has something to do with my stomach not feeling well, got a headache, whatever. Um, but when I get to get checked with my chiropractor, I want to say, okay, well, let's check my spine so I can see what is going on. Okay, let me see if my spinal, my, my vertebra are in proper alignment. And once I can identify that, and once my chiropractor is able to identify that for me, my goal from that point on, and I've been doing this since I was 19 years old. I am now 69, soon to be 70 come March the 8th. Um, I don't go to my chiropractor because I'm in pain. I go there because I want to make sure that my spine is properly aligned. And if it's not, I want to get checked, get adjusted, and I want to do that every single week, sometimes two times a week, sometimes three times a week, okay? But I go to my chiropractor, most importantly, I want to go there to help my body stay well, okay? Number one, get well, stay well, and then be able to live the best life possible by keeping my, my body in proper alignment, okay? Now, in addition to that, obviously, we need to make sure that we're eating right. We have to make sure that we're exercising. We have to make sure we're getting good seven, eight hours of sleep every night, okay? We must make sure that we have a great positive mental out, you know, uh, outlook of life or attitude, and we have to make sure our spine is checked on a regular, ongoing basis. So what does that mean? That means that if you're in pain or not, okay, if you're in pain or not, you should always come and get your spine checked. Because how do you know? You know, it's like, how do you know you have uh, problems with your teeth? Oh, I know. Wait till your teeth or your, your mouth is in pain, and then you go to get checked. Okay, and then when you go, you find out that all your teeth have to be pulled out because you never took care of the proper spinal hygiene. No, we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that we stay on top of making sure that this system, because remember, your brain and nerve system is the master control system of the human body. It controls, conducts, coordinates every single activity in the human body. That means everything. And so if we know that and we understand that, then it makes sense for every man, woman, and child to get checked by your chiropractor on a regular basis consistent basis okay if you want to stay um, well okay if you want to get well stay well and live the best life possible you must have chiropractic be one of the main um, health care providers in your life I don't care who you are from the time you're born until the time you leave here you should be under chiropractic care okay you know we, we again like I said we live in a culture that is just um, dominated about you know pushing things to get rid of symptoms and especially get rid of pain okay but it's about function you want to be able to function well you know when people come in sometimes even those and we take care of a lot of patients who've been involved in auto accidents and things like that um, but again even when they come I teach them the philosophy of chiropractic to help them understand okay that the power that made the body is the power that can heal it. But in order for that to happen, we have to make sure that this spinal system is in proper alignment, okay? Um, chiropractic is really about life, living, and wellness. Teaching you, helping you understand that. It's not about taking away from, but really uh, providing a, a service of aligning your spinal system so your body can perform at a maximum level, okay? Because everyone wants to have maximum performance in their lives and the only way you're going to have that 
is by doing those things that we talked about tonight. Okay, so if you are interested, really, really interested in having um, magnificent health, uh, having a vitalistic lifestyle, um, having a lifestyle where you can do the things that you would like to do well into your 80s, 90s, and even 100. You know, I'm a big fan of Dr. Eric Plask who talks about living a 100-year 100 100 year lifestyle. My philosophy is do the things that you think that you are, are important to do to get to 100. Even if you don't get there, at least you'll have uh, 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 the health and the vitality to do all the things that you like to do at whatever age, you know. Uh, I say this to you because, you know, here, you know, I'm, I'm soon to be 70. Um, my mindset when I go to the gym and when I plug in, sometimes they ask you what's your age, I always put in 33 because I want to be able to perform um, at an age that would allow me to be able to really be more vitalistic in terms of what I want, okay? Um, when I walk, when I talk, when I think, when I move, I don't want to be moving in a way that I see the typical 69, 70 year old person is, is walking in, in here in America today, okay? Um, I, I just have this mindset that as long as we can take care of this body temple that belongs to God, um, do the right things, get under chiropractic care, stay under chiropractic care, get your family under chiropractic care, I really believe that we can transform the health here in the United States. I really do believe that. If, if, we, if we had the opportunity to get every single person that is that is on the planet under chiropractic care, I just firmly believe that we see a huge change in health here in the United States and around the world, okay? So for those of you out there um, tonight, I hope that this has been uh, valuable information for you. Um, we do this talk here every, the, the, the second and fourth Tuesday of every month. And this talk is as much for me as it is for you because you know, I've been in practice for 38 years. Um, actually, this October it'll be 39 years. Um, and I, I have to tell you that I'm as excited about what I do today as when I first started because I love what I do. I love serving people. I love seeing people come in who have gone through all kinds of different medical care and treatments and then get them in under chiropractic, chiropractic care. One of the things we do when we initially start people is we get them, they got to change your diet. Okay, you have to come off the case, cookies, candies, milk, cream, you know, all that stuff, processed foods, and I ask that you do it for 30 to 60 days while you're under chiropractic care. Drink water, nothing else but water, okay? Um, exercise, you've got to get out and do some exercise. We do these things for 30, 60 days, we're going to start seeing some changes, you're going to start seeing the changes, and you're going to wake up one morning feeling like, wow, I, I can't believe that I'm feeling this good but it's possible. If we can change the inside chemistry, get your spinal system properly aligned, get plenty of rest so your body has the ability to heal itself while sleeping, and you're gonna notice that you're gonna see big changes in your life, okay? Now, if you're out there and you're interested in finding out, learning more about what we do here at Miller Chiropractic Wellness Center, give us a call, okay? We're here Monday through Thursday. That's right, Monday through Thursday. My office hours are 9 a.m. in the morning to 1 p.m. I take a break in the afternoon to re-energize, recharge, and we're back here from three to six. Don't have office hours on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, okay? Um, we're here, we wanna serve you. If you're out there and you wanna hear more about and learn more about what we do here, give us a call at 609-383-9121, okay? We're also going to be uh, doing a 21-day um, uh, detox purification program for those of you who like to get involved with that uh, when you call the office you can ask about it um, I, I do this several times a year I think it's important that everybody go through a detox program okay I use the uh, program from standard process they have a really fantastic 21 day purification program we'll help you with it here you come here you purchase it and I will walk you through it the only thing is that I ask that you do is if you decide to do that we want you to be here under chiropractic care, getting checked and adjusted once a week, okay? Um, and we'll talk to you more about that when you decide to call. So again, um, it is now time for me to call it quits for the night. So I want to wish you all out there a happy Valentine's Day for those of you who participate in that. And um, 
just want to wish you all a really happy night, and uh, we look forward to being with you again in uh, two weeks, which will be on the 28th. It's my wife's birthday, so you guys got to be here on time, and then we'll get this rocking, and then we'll see you then. And have, in the meantime, have a blessed evening, but please call me tomorrow, 609-383-9121, and schedule your appointment. Those of you out there who've been in my office and you've kind of stepped away for a while, get back on track. I'm telling you that chiropractic is one of the best gifts that you can give yourself if you want to have a great quality of life, okay? Thank you and have a blessed night. And share this with as many people as you can.